In this episode of Day Job, presented by Spares Box, we install a GK Tech hydraulic handbrake, as well as make our own custom brake lines, removing the ABS and adding a rear brake shutoff valve. So we've ordered all our brake fittings, we've got everything ready to go. The first job we've got to do is make a plate to install the hydraulic handbrake. So when it comes to the mounting plate, we're going to use a thick aluminium plate, 5 mil. That'll give us enough rigidity to mount the handbrake to. So I've kind of just put a couple of bolts in underneath of the handbrake so we've got a bit of an idea of how it's going to sit. Oh, look at that freshness. Oh man, we're spot on. So I've got the plate here. I'm happy with the fitment. It, look, it actually fits really, really good. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get my cordless drill. I'm going to drill through one of these bolt holes, put one nut third in, bolt it down. Then I'm going to drill the next hole, the next hole, and the next hole. So by doing that, it means that the plate's not going to move around on me. I'm going to get the bolt, the nut so it's in the exact right spot. <laughs> Works as a handbrake. Solid. All right. Ugh. Okay. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that's good. They definitely can't get him confused. Good, let's do it. So now, I'm just laying out some of the fittings we need for the cabin. So I've got, these are bulkhead fittings, AN, AN on the taper. So my initial idea was to like, put them like here and there. But I'm thinking that we might not actually be able to get the lines up around the gearbox. So they might actually end up back here somewhere. So we're gonna have a play around that. Half this is like, you have a design in mind and then when you go to do it, it actually doesn't work out. So just be expecting that. So I've got, instead of using like a double flare into the master cylinder, I'm gonna use banjo fittings with aluminum washers. Since they've got like a nice machine surface, we can get away with that. Yeah, so you get, we're gonna have a 90 degree straight off there, which keeps the hose height low, and it's gonna be not interfere with anything that's around there. Okay, so we've got both of those, two 90s heading in this direction. And then we've got a, a shut off valve, which we're gonna to use to be able to do burnouts, so we don't drag the back brakes. So I'm gonna put that on, I don't know yet, maybe on the in, maybe on the out. We'll have to see. Just see how, maybe on the, maybe on the line in. Yeah, probably on the line in, because we should still have enough fluid in there to supply the master cylinder. So we can still close it off and use the handbrake. That sucks. We're gonna have to go to the back. There's a gearbox brace exactly where I was pointing to. That sucks. I could actually get hoses to it, but it's like three layers of metal there. So the bulkhead fitting's not gonna secure properly. I'm gonna run the bulkhead fittings for the handbrake up through here through the firewall. What it's gonna do is make it easy for us to run the brake lines because underneath the car, there's a joiner down there that we can use the line to run all the way to the back. So basically we'll get rid of all of these lines, these ABS lines, all the lines over there. And then we'll make new ones from the master cylinder to the bulkheads, the bulkheads to the back line. And then we'll make new lines for the front. I'm just gonna cable tie it to this bar. 
because I've got a feeling like all of this is going to go very soon. Oh wow, that's nice and solid. So we've moved into the engine bay now. So we're going to start doing the brake lines. So I bought over a couple of little things to help me work out where we're going to put the lines, the T-joints, how we're going to bend the pipe, and I've bought some pipe with me. So this is 3 16 zinc-coated brake line. So this is steel brake line. Uh, so this is what we're going to be using to do the lines from the master cylinder to the bulkhead fittings, and then back into the rear brake lines. So we've got to design the brake lines. So what we're going to use is some welding wire. That's 1.6 mil. I've also got a bend that I've already made, which has a marking for reference. So we're going to use the welding wire and this to make like a template, and then we're going to bend it up out of that. So with the front brakes, because we're not using the ABS unit anymore, so we have to come out of the master cylinder and split it into two lines, front, left, and right. And then the rear line's gonna come from the master cylinder to the bulkhead, down through the handbrake and the shutoff valve, back out, and then we're gonna run it across the firewall, down, and then use the original uh, brake line that runs to the rear. At the rear, then we're gonna tee it off using another one of these T unions. We'll bolt that in, which We'll have one line coming in, one line going to the left rear brake caliper, and then the other line will join into the factory line and then run that one. So what I was talking about at the back here, so we've got this line here goes to the driver's side rear brake caliper. This one comes to the passenger side. So we're gonna put a T-joiner in here. We're gonna use this line from the front to the back, and then we're gonna make a little line that comes around into this guy, joins in here, and then continues on. Okay, so I've got the calipers back from the brake shop. They've put new pistons, seals, basically rebuilt the calipers using new components. We've already powder coated them, as you saw just before. I've gone ahead and I've made my own braided brake lines and I've finished making all the hard pipes. Okay, so the last thing I would do, just before we go and bleed it, I've just got to go around and nip up all the brake fittings. Just make sure that they're all tight. Okay, so that's tight. Okay, that's tight too. That's all ready and installed. Now we're going to go ahead and bleed the brakes. So I'm just stopping the brake fluid up before we bleed. So how we're going to bleed this is we're going to first start with bleeding the rear brakes, then move to the front. And we're going to do two passes of the car. Now we have a hydraulic handbrake installed, which is a master cylinder. So what we have to do is basically bleed the master cylinder first before we can bleed the rest of the brakes. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna leave the line that comes out of the handbrake loose on the firewall here. So what that is gonna allow us to do is actually just push the air through and out of the brake master cylinder for the handbrake, which will make it easier to bleed the rest of the brake system. So once, that's, once we've got all the air out of this part of the car, then we'll tighten it back up and then we'll pump it through and bleed the rest of this brake system. Let's get to that now. So we're getting a pedal now. All right, Paul. Sweet. I think we've got, I think we're good. Got the pedal there, got a handbrake. I'm pretty excited now. We can go and test it, I think. We've got brakes, so let's do it. Pretty stoked, the handbrake seems to work well. So it was a little bit of work to do this job, but definitely the results are paying off. The handbrake works fantastic. 
The ABS unit doesn't trigger. I think now it's time to we scare some people. We need to put a passenger seat in and maybe some harnesses. We've got all the provisions there, so I think that's gonna be our next day job. Have a good one, see you later.